Alright, we're going to go to Iroh, the first one. Is that you ready? My mic going or it's just, it's just duh, huh? Was it a coincidence you had the P Dub shirt on and uh, in pregame, then you broke off all the punt returns? Is that was he? Had you been familiar with him before you even got here? Yeah, I was. I, well, earlier, like growing up, I ain't really knew he went to Florida State. I thought he went to Boston College or something. I just knew he had Burgundy. But before coming here, yeah, I definitely knew who he was. And last week, I kind of let him down. You know, I, he returned one against Virginia Tech in one of those big games. He was like, "Show me something," and I, I got tackled. So I was trying to, you know, pay my tribute to him today. When a guy like Johnny isn't available, um, I mean, is it something you just take upon yourself that you know you have to step up, or is it something that the team talks about wanting and needing more out of you? I mean, I wouldn't even really say step up because I feel like we would have type of games like this when we both on the field. So it's really just, you know, my brother Don just making sure I go even harder for, because he's not here and, you know, make the other team feel his half. So pretty much that. Hey, Keon, looking around the NFL when you're studying receivers, uh, who do you study the most and what do you try to emulate from their game and apply to yours? Mm, I think I, I use a plethora of guys. I think OBJ forever hurt, but that, that's my dog. That, a lot of his game, uh, Calvin Benjamin, you know, Julio and Randy Moss, guys too, and Calvin Johnson, you know, feel me. He go up and get the ball. He do a lot of different things, but, you know, I want people to kind of feel me the way they have to. We get inside the 20, put two people there, you feel me? Hey, Keon, can you walk us through the, the catch on the opening drive? Because do you realize in that moment that it's a pretty special play that you just made? I ain't rely, yeah. But I mean, really just from the look that the defense gave, we kind of knew, I kind of knew I had a shot at really being the first read on that. So really just taking what he gave me. He opened his hips early for the slide fade, and I just broke across his face. And they tried to put a good ball out there, and I just went up to get it. Keon, I want to ask you, you know, you had – I don't even know how many total yards with the punt returns and receiving. Lawrence also goes for over 100 all-purpose yards. You know, you guys are a really versatile offense. For you, how important is that in the game plan every week that you know you can attack teams in different ways? Really just a lot of one-on-ones. And you're going to have to either play a lot of zone or you're going to have to play a lot of man because you're not going to be able to double anybody uh, because we have so many different weapons at different positions. Keon, it's been like, I don't know, 45 minutes since the game ended. How many times have you seen that catch? Have you seen it on your phone? Did people send it to you? Have you still not seen a replay of it? My phone, I put my phone on D&D &D till I get home. I got to embrace my family first. Gotcha. And then the touchdown. Um, obviously, great route. You get open. But the protection that Jordan got, and then also he takes a hit as he's throwing it. I guess just the how everything has to work on all cylinders for a play like that to happen. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's a special thing of football. You got a lot of 11 different guys, 11 guys trying to achieve one goal of making sure they do their job so the perfect play can happen. And I feel like that's a result of that. And he, he, even though we still did it right, he still took a shot. But that's a play of the game, man. You know, he made a great throw and caught the ball, and the crowds just started going crazy, you feel me? Just a lot of fun, really. I feel like punt returners, we often see maybe a, a, a DB or a slot receiver. You might be a, big, a lot bigger than a lot of punt returners. How much, how much do you like? I mean, it definitely fits your skill set. How much do you like returning punts? It sure looks like you do out on the field. I like it. I, everybody think I'm tripping, but I'd rather do that over kickoff return. Because punt returners, you really control, like, if you, how hard you're going to get hit, if you're going to get hit. If you're scared, fair catch it. You know what I'm saying? If you're scared to catch it, let it go. You know, but it's like you got full control back there. It's like being a quarterback in a sense. You have full control of what's about to happen. And that one play, you really can change the momentum of a, of a game. And, you know, especially if you back there, it's like they really have faith in, in you to put the ball in your hands in that position and trust your, your playmaking ability to do what you need to do. And then, you know, on top of that, I give credit to the guys that's blocking. You know, I'd be, I be on everybody all week. I'd be having fun, jilting, but just staying on guys, making sure they're not slipping up on every single rep. Like, you know, just do what you have to do. If you end up being wrong, I'm going to try to make you right. But we're going to, you know, 11 guys have to participate on this unit for us to get touchdowns. And I fell short of that for them this week. I, and I fell twice. Uh, so how have you and Jordan Travis been um, trying to work on each other's chemistry cause over the past couple of months? I mean, just repetition and uh, really understanding what we both looking at. So if we both looking at the same thing and thinking the same thing when it's happening, I mean, the ball's going to be there regardless. He's, he's great. So he's going to put a good ball over there, and he trusts me to go out there and make the play. So really just knowing where you have to be and where he would like you to be and where making sure you all both seeing the same things. 
keep, did you return punts at Michigan State? You didn't, right? No. You ain't see who we had back there? <laughs> Man, we had one of the best returners in the country. I ain't, well, I ain't that wasn't my job. You feel me? I, I did it in practice. I did it in practice, and, you know, we had a great punter, too. So, I mean, I took a, uh, returned a lot of punts from him in practice the past two years. But, you know, when I got there here, they didn't really know I can return punts. But I was like, let me do it. You feel me? If we don't have one, I mean, I trust myself with the ball. So, let me go back down, and, you know, now we're here. So, did you lobby uh, Norvell to, to return here then? Nah, we would do like I think it was a random practice in the uh, in the summer. You know, you do like OTAs, and we was they was kicking, and we was just returning them. And I ain't drop any. It looked good, you know. So, um, you play basketball and football at Michigan State. Charlie Ward was here, part of the 1993 team. What goes through your mind for a guy to play both of those sports? And not only to play both of them, but play at a Heisman Trophy level on one side, NBA draft pick on the other side. I mean, he was special. That, that's, that's unheard of. Like, to be that good in both of those, and then you, it's kind of like you just get to like, hmm, I want to play basketball, I want to go play football. And he just, you know, he get to pick whichever one. So I feel like that's, that's very unique. That's kind of once in a lifetime type of, type of thing. I don't think anybody's going to have that type of, you know, influence on both sides, like basketball and football ever again, to be honest with you. And uh, when the offense comes up short on a drive, and sometimes Jordan will get frustrated, sometimes you guys will get frustrated. Like when the fans and media watch it, we wonder: Is everything okay? Like, what's it like during those moments? And how do you guys handle not and not getting negative, but just pushing each other to get better? I mean, I, I mean, that's a part of football, you know. When something don't go your go your way, of course you're gonna get like that immediate reaction because it's not the instant gratification you wanted. So you're going to get mad and frustrated, but it's like, you know, it's one play at a time. And I don't think, you know, there's a lot of people in the, in the stands. So it's like, they all might see it from a different angle. But from our perspective, it's just we're frustrated because we want to be perfect. We strive for perfection. We don't want to not score or want to not complete a pass. So it's just like that instant frustration between us. And But we all, we don't be frustrated at each other. We be frustrated at the fact that we both seeing, like we all seeing what should have happened. So we just got to get to this next plan, make sure it happened then. But I don't think there's anything y'all need to worry about. We'd be, we be good. Just showing emotion. I guess you only got here over the summer, so you didn't see, I guess, Hakeem in the spring, haven't seen, I guess, the, the full journey for him. But how far since you got here have you seen him come? And I guess, what, what can you say about what his, his ceiling can be with what he's showing already? I mean, I've seen the highlights, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I had to check it out, you know. See, we had a great tight end. I was like, we got some guys, but I mean, Seeing him in this short amount of time, he's been very special. You know, he don't drop really, he don't really hardly ever drop passes. He don't really miss his blocks. So he's really just a, a technical guy when it comes to his technique and fundamentals of being a football player. And just, you know, he can also make the while you play, like one hand grabs and different things like that. And being able to have him at running back, fullback, uh, put him in the slot, even outside and give him screens, go balls, different routes in the route tree, he's gonna make the play. So it's, I think it's very special and unique. Keon, it seemed like early on in the game they were playing you one-on-one -on -one a lot, leaving you on, on an island. Were you surprised with the coverage that Syracuse was showing? I don't, I don't really think so. I mean, my coach has put me in a position where you really can't double me. And if you try, it's like you leaving somebody else one-on-one -on -one, or you just leaving them open. And I don't think that's very smart to do. So, I mean, he pretty much just put me in the right position. We were moving with te different tempos and things like that to where they couldn't shift coverages and they just had to react off what we were doing. And we just making plays, really. Coach Norbell talked about in the last month, Hakeem Williams has really taken it to another level and he's ascending. What, what have you seen um, from him? I think Kurt asked you about Hakeem, but I thought you were talking about Jaheem. Yeah, I, oh, you're talking about Hakeem? So yeah, so now I'm asking you oh, about Hakeem. Well, oh, all right, all right, all right. I thought you were talking about Jaheem. My bad, my bad. Hakeem, I mean, he's grown very much. It's, uh, from when I, when I first came in, just, you know, coming from, he coming from being a high school guy, so, you know, probably treatment was a little different, but throwing conditioning and stuff, he was struggling, but we pushing him every day, just continue to push him, and he's, he's becoming what y'all thought he was going to be coming out of high school. He's going up there making grabs, working routes, you know, releases, doing everything, and, you know, y'all probably seen him. I've seen him run the fastest I've ever seen him run today. I mean, he caught it. He made a, he made a move. I was like, you know, my, 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 I got up. I was like, what? I was happy for him, but you know, it was just great to see him finally get out there and, you know, show a little flash of what he can do, and I, I think y'all should look forward to seeing a lot more of him. Appreciate y'all. J-Trap, do the 284. 23 for 37.